Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Do you have a brother sewing machine and you've been wondering how to use the dial to make all the different stitches on your machine? Well, it's really quite simple. I'm going to show you the steps to turn the dial to get the stitches that you want. Look at your machine and realize the innermost or dark gray dial is the stitch length. The higher the number, the longer the stitch. So I have this set on four and it'll make the longest stitch. If you want your stitches shorter, you turn the dial backwards. When you want to do a buttonhole, you start with it on F. When you want to sew a button and you don't want the needle to move forward at all, you would put it on zero. For most stitching, I do zigzag or straight and I normally just leave it on three or four. Choose the stitch you want to make from the guide on your machine. Number one would be how to make a buttonhole. Then number two is straight stitching. Number three is zigzag. And number four and five are both blind hem, depending on which way you want the needle to move. And then we get into decorative stitches. You can use these for different kinds of things. I just don't ever really use these because I normally just sew basic things or repair things. So I use the two and the three and sometimes the four or the five. But if you want to do one of these, you simply turn this dial to match the number that you want. So if you were going to make a buttonhole, you would start with it on one. If you wanted to sew a straight, you would turn it, see the arrow, line it up with the two. If you want a zigzag, you line it up with the three. Then you just sew your zigzag stitch. I want to sew something straight, so I put the stitch length on four, and then I'm going to turn the dial to two. Now I'm going to have a regular straight stitch. Normally you would use matching thread, but I'm going to use a contrasting thread so you can see the stitches. So place your fabric under your presser foot, drop it down, then you push this button to make it go backwards and lock your stitch and press on the pedal. Then release the backwards, hold your fabric, and guide it through. And you can see that sewed straight on the front and the back. Now I'm going to show you a zigzag, which is number three. So this one is still set on four, and I turn this to three. So they're lined up with the arrow. Place your fabric under the presser foot and drop it. Make sure both your threads are coming out to the back. Then you want to hold down this button and go back a few stitches to lock it in place. See how it's zigging? Then you release that and you guide your fabric and it's zigzagging. The machine does it for you. And if you want a more narrow zigzag, you simply adjust this to, here it's on two. That was on four, this one's on two. And I can put it all the way down to F for fine. The blind hem on four or five which is what I did on this pair of pants. So I did the same thing. When I first cut them off, then I folded under a quarter of an inch, and then I stitched it with a straight stitch. Then you fold it over again, and you place it with the folded side, the hem like this. So if this was my hem, I would fold this part under, and do a straight stitch with number two all the way along. So where the hem is going to be, I fold that back and place that under the presser foot. And I hold the part I just stitched over here and the long leg of the pants or the dress right there and then you go backwards. Now if you watch, 
it will sew several stitches onto the hem part and then one stitch over to catch it on the fabric, uh, the main part of the fabric. Did you see that? Then you keep it folded correctly, evenly. And that's the way it works on number four. Number five does the same thing in case you wanted to put it through your machine the other direction. So if you were putting it through this side, you would use it on number five. Because then it would do most of the stitching on here and one stitch over there. So four and five makes the same stitch. You just have to decide which way you're trying to make your blind hem. Then if you turn it back over and went after you give it a little tug and you press it, of course you would use thread that would match. And it's the same thing for any other stitches you want. You choose which stitch you want, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You simply change the outer dial to the stitch that you want. So this one is number eight. If you want to do any of the stitches in this row, you turn it to SS and then you dial the number. So if you look on here, turn the gray one and you can feel it click and it's in SS. Now you've put the second row of numbers into play. So if I turn this back to 14, it's SS, so it's the second row, and it's stitch 14. And there's stitch number 14. Now to set it at 15, I have this on SS, and I turn this to 15. And this is stitch 15. Always make sure your needle is in the up position before you switch the dials around so that you don't risk damaging your needle. So try uh, practicing with these. Get some scraps of fabric and try all the different stitches until you find the ones that you like. But remember, at the end of the day, put it back on the just plain average stitches because that's probably what you're going to use the most. You can have a lot of fun with a Brother sewing machine and it isn't very expensive and it's amazing what it can do. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.